travelers. Welcome to Breckenridge, Colorado. So we're here for a few days. I used to live up here in Summit County and it's been a few years since I've been back. We're gonna do a little bit of hiking and exploring some old Western Colorado towns. So are you ready to start hiking? Mm-hmm. So about 20 minutes outside of Breckenridge, we've come to the Blue Lakes Trailhead Road. It's a little bumpy. Luckily, we have a rock and dirt setting on our car, so we're pretty much good to go. Someone at our hotel told us about it, and they said there are mountain goats up there. So lakes, mountain goats, beautiful mountain scenery, all sounds really good to me. Came here for the mountain goats and I'm not disappointed because there's a baby one right up there. If you watched our vlog for a while, you know that I am totally into wildlife. So this is super awesome for me and I might cry. It's so cute, it's making little noises. Oh my God, I love it. I lived up here for five years and I think I saw mountain goats maybe like once and we've been here for two days and then we're here at the trail. You don't even have to hike for them. Oh yeah, there's more right there too. As it turns out, I forgot my bug spray in the hotel room and that is really, really bad news for me. I just get outside for a minute and I can feel them starting to come around me. So. We don't really have time to go back to the hotel room, so I'm kind of hoping one of these other hikers has some that I could spray on. Mosquitoes are really, really attracted to me. So if I don't get bug spray, I will get probably 10 bites and it'll suck. So I'm hoping someone has some around here. We parked in between two of the lakes here at the Blue Lakes Trailhead, and there's a nice little waterfall that kind of cascades down in between the two. So I think that's where we're gonna head. The mountain goat mom and the mountain goat cub? What do you call a mountain goat? Cat, calf, kid. kid, I don't know. Joey, sorry. No, it's not a Joey. <laughs> calf? Calf, yeah, that sounds good. Mountain goat calf and the mother have kind of been following us a little bit. We're trying to stay clear of them and give them lots of space. I don't know if we're just going the way that they want to go, but they keep kind of following us along. So we're gonna try our best to stay away from them, but. I don't want to get around a mama. No, anything. we're definitely not trying to get in their way. And mom's got some pretty big horns, so we don't really want to deal with that. <laughs> Found some mountain goat fur or wool. It's really soft. I feel like if I find oh, enough, wow. I will make a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really soft, I like it. Is that weird? <laughs> I'm probably not gonna take it. We're not actually doing any serious hiking right now because we're gonna go meet some more of Kevin's old friends. So we're just kind of wandering, but we are up over 10,000 feet and I can definitely feel it. We went up a small incline and I was like huffing and puffing. So I'm gonna say that it's the elevation and not my fitness level. That is my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> So good at pushing buttons. You definitely push my buttons. Hey -o.
Copper Mountain, which is a ski resort that's up in the High Rockies, about 20 minutes away from Breckenridge where we're staying. This is where Kevin used to live and work for about five years before we met. So he's still got a lot of friends here, so we've met up with a couple of his buddies and we're going to go out into the backcountry to do some hiking and check out some old mines and western towns and stuff like that, which is pretty exciting. Kind of walking around and checking out what's changed because he hasn't been here in a few years. It's a little warm, but the weather is gorgeous, nice little breeze, but they're leaving me behind so I gotta go. Hi, Navy. Hi. 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 We just spent a little time hanging out at his buddy Nick's apartment, who has an apartment like right here in the middle of the ski resort. Man, that's that's yeah. nice. Those are some nice digs. Killer views. It's kind of amazing that he has that apartment because... The housing market in these ski resort towns is really, really bad right now. They have kind of lost a lot of affordable housing for employees due to short-term rentals like Airbnb and things like that. People who work in the ski towns doing basically the minimum wage jobs have no place to live because everywhere is a short-term rental. So they're yeah. having trouble keeping places staffed. So it's really kind of a housing crisis here. Yeah. So we're definitely feeling for the employees that live up here. And just be aware of that. If you do come up to the mountain towns, they're very short staffed. There's nowhere for anybody to live to work up here. It's definitely a struggle. It was cool to see that his friend has such a nice, nice spot in the middle of everything. Yeah, at least they're doing good. Yeah. His buddies went a different car, but we're gonna go follow them to another trailhead and gonna do some more hiking to where I can't breathe. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's do it. We have made it to the Mayflower Gulch Trailhead. We're gonna cruise up into this valley and check out some old mining cabins. So we decided that we could just drive most of the way instead of hike. And since we're not used to elevation, that sounded like a better idea. And to be fair, there are some clouds coming, so we might have some thunderstorms. That's the excuse that we'll roll with, but really is we just didn't want to hike it. But we're just hanging out in the back. We got some dogs. Oh, oh, I got a friend too. It's gonna be okay, guys. That was a lot better than driving, huh? Or... Oh. Oh. Hey, Slayton, guess what was in the car? Oh. <laughs> Seems to be weather in the area. Nature, baby. <laughs> We're getting lucky so far with the rain. Fingers crossed it stays away. There's about three or four buildings up here and a bunch of old mine ruins, some kind of metal pieces, and looks like some sort of drill or something over here. So we're just kind of cruising around checking these out. Hopefully won't get wet or struck by lightning. I think we found some affordable summit housing here. <laughs> it's gonna get a terrible Yelp review. <laughs> so hiking is kind of a loose term of what we're doing right now. We're kind of just wandering around with the dogs, which is fun. We love it. Um, felt a couple raindrops though. So if Kevin's saying we haven't hit any rain yet, I think he jinxed it, but that's okay. I think we'll hang out here until it starts to pour and then we'll skedaddle. After it started raining in Mayflower Gulch, we decided to head up over the pass to the town of Leadville. If you drive up into the hills outside of Leadville, there are tons of old mining tailings and different ruins that you can go and explore.
for whatever reason, at this point, our microphone stopped working. But I'm pretty sure that Kelly is saying something like, even though I packed all these layers, I still don't have enough clothes. I'm surprised that it's raining, but it's okay because I really like rain because we don't get any when we're in California. No idea what I'm saying here, but apparently it has something to do with giving a lot of finger guns. I do remember, however, that I was trying to get Kelly to drive through this big puddle so I could film it in slow-mo. We then headed back to Leadville and stopped at High Mountain Pies for some really delicious pizza before heading back to Breckenridge for the night. Do you think my drone's gonna get <laughs> struck by lightning? <laughs> oh. oh my god. The Blue Lakes Trailhead Road. You don't have to look into the camera. <laughs> We're gonna cruise up into this valley and check out some old mining cabins that are up in here. That was really terrible. <laughs> mining cabins. Great. At least you're Vlogs. cute. Stuff. Uh. Hey! Hey! What's up? What up? Welcome to the vlog. Hi, vlog. <laughs>